This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're doing another video review today, uh, this time looking at an app for all you sneaker heads that are out on the streets there. Uh, this one's called Sneakerology, and as you can see, I've got the icon right here ready to go. So without any further ado, we're going to hit that and get straight into things. The uh, splash screen there is uh, obviously a nice little stack of uh, sneakers, something uh, good to go with a metaphor. So, uh, essentially what this app has to offer, what Sneakerology has on the table, so to speak, is a gigantic amount of shoe resources. As you can see here, it gets straight into these tabs. The tabs, by the way, are pretty much the central part of what Sneakerology is, uh, is built on. And then uh, for each tab, you get a, a list of resources about shoes. Uh, that would be sneakers or kicks or whatever you want to call them. Um, and essentially what this uh, would be used for would be someone who's really into sneakers, uh, sneaker heads, obviously, and uh, someone who just can't read enough about shoes. So for, uh, for instance, if you wanted to uh, be of that persuasion, then uh, you just hit these tabs along the bottom and then you're presented with a ton of new information about upcoming shoes, shoes that are out, um, and uh, just general information about, uh, say, the companies themselves too, things like that. I've seen a couple of those. So uh, essentially that's what Sneakerology is offering, is a kind of RSS collected feed of different sneaker resources. But on top of that you also get, and by the way when I say a ton, I actually mean a ton. I mean in the more section here we've got literally more you can shake a stick at, including a releases tab, which I thought was a nice touch because you can hit that and then see immediately all of the upcoming shoes, which is a nice, uh, you know, a nice addition. It shows the developers were thinking about the resources, that, the, excuse me, the resources they included. Which is nice. Also, you get things like uh, like uh, teleprograms for sneakers, and uh, yeah, more videos about sneakers. Which is nice because it kind of shakes up the uh, the media that's offered here instead of just all text. So, and for your money, also you will be getting a uh, sneakerhead function, which would be a socializing part of the app, meaning uh, you're free to share. Just swipe up from your tab bar, and then you're free to share any of these stories that you like. And this includes ones that you like. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, obviously, yeah, you get it. But the idea here is that you uh, click on any old story that you see, and then hit this little heart along the bottom, and then it will actually like the story, and then put it into your sneakerhead function, which means you can go back, slide up from the tab bar, and then there it is in your liked files, which is nice. And uh, from here, you can actually share these with other users. You can hit share, and then share via Twitter, Facebook, or email which is nice as well. We always like to see social networking integration in any of our apps, and it's nice that it's included. There are a few design errors, and when I say errors, I mean just errors, because if you look along the side here, we've got these icons that are slightly off-spaced and are actually kind of off into the border, which is a little unsightly, but not a deal-breaker. You know, it's there, and it's still very usable. You can click it again, and then all of the features that you need to access are there along the bottom. One of the things this app also offers is a, a built-in browser. If so you can see along the top here, we've got this little compass. Then when we hit it, it will actually load up the story itself via the place that it's found on. And from here, you can also hit the Safari button and then go back to Safari itself in case you want to do some more serious perusing. This is a nice touch, I think, uh, especially if you're concerned about the, uh, the, the resource that this is coming from. You can go straight to the source to take a better look which is a nice touch, and um, in-app browsers are uh, kind of popular at the moment with a lot of different apps, and I think it's good that it's included in this one. It's a good case uh, of, of how to go about that. So props to the developers for that. So, uh, basically, at the end of the day, if you're into shoes, and uh, obviously into shoes this much, you're going to love Sneakerology. It's got a lot to offer. It's got a ton of good resources, easily accessible, and, you know, it's a very simplistic interface. It does have a few issues. Um, it's a bit laggy at times, especially when loading, and the in-app browser, it's worth noting, is kind of slow. Um, and the like function is nice as well, and so is the ability to uh, change your own profile. Although at the moment, uh, there aren't many users as far as Sneakerology goes. Um, and that meaning, meaning that uh, if you go to the settings here into the social part of this app, there just aren't that many people posting things about, uh, about stories that they find yet. That means that there's still potential left for this app to gain followers, and obviously, you know, it will as time goes on, but at the moment it's still kind of a sparse world. Not that that's a terrible thing, you still get all of the available resources in solo player mode, so to speak. 
So at the end of the day, if you really like shoes, this app is going to have everything you ever wanted. It's still got some design issues, but hopefully future updates will fix that. And with time, of course, it'll get more users fleshing out the social aspect. So at the end of the day, I'm going to give Sneakerology a 4 out of 5 star rating. If you really are into shoes, you're going to love it. Otherwise, you might not have uh, much interest in it, but that's okay. So, at the end of the day, it's a 4 out of 5 star rating for Sneakerology. This has been Luke Patrick, reviewing with the iPhoneAppReview.com. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in. You can check out our YouTube channel for more of our video reviews, or go to the iPhoneAppReview.com at any point in time for more written ones. We're just cool like that. So, thanks for tuning in, you guys, and we'll check you later. Bye.